James Norris from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. This is a Patreon request from Emmanuel. Let's do this. Right, so the guy from the opening scene. What a good scene it was. So he's got this thing coming across his nose. Center point of my page is about here. Probably eyes are maybe below halfway a little bit. He's got those goggles on. So let's go for it. Up, across, down. This is the clip that comes across his nose. Kind of like that, right? Could have like an edge line to it. So in these glasses, right? So we go down that way. Up here. A lot of angles now. Comes across. <clears throat> and then it goes down. in and then back in towards the nose same on the other side go up down same sort of shape right up to the corner across the top it's not exactly the same on both sides but we can do our best. It's not exactly the same both sides in the anime either. All right, so he's got like three eyes or three lenses. Big one, a medium one, and a small one. We do that over here. And then they have lenses, like the actual glass inside. So like one there. There. Like so. Right, so his nose is in under here then, and all they do for his nose is just like, goes down that way. And then a line here. And then there's like this sort of V shape for his mustache, right? So just beside the nose, so you got like nostril, comes across, up and around like that. And then it's like his bottom jaw is all metal and stuff and there's a mustache that comes out from the bottom of his nose it looks like so we'll do our best with this now so it comes out then it appears to go in and there we go down now there's like a dark area here that i can't really make out so what I'm going to do is go up and around as if I'm drawing sort of a, a lip or a mouth, right? So we've got like a mustache and it's got like texture lines on it. Now, if I was drawing a mouth, I would just do like the bottom lip here. And then like his beard thing. So it seems to come out this way. But like this is metal, so this area is like all in shadow in the show, so you can't really see if he does have a mouth or what. So then the rest of his beard, right? So we go up. This way. And then it's got like all these angled lines right up to here. Nice. Right. It's like his cheek. We go over this way. And then he has like some cyberpunk lines here. I can only describe them as cyberpunk lines because they're those sort of animatronic lines on their faces. 
So in this beard then, out this way, and around. Like that. It's got this diamond sort of shape on the chin. And then like it's broken up into these kind of animatronic lines. Got these little sort of boxes and stuff inside here. Right, so his hairline then continues up this way. So you've got like, this is like kind of hair spikes. Goes up there. A few little hair spikes and then goes up around the hair. And then, so like his like frowning, frowning sort of temple. You know, the side of his forehead. And then his brow sort of coming around here. Got a wrinkle on his nose there. Right, so then the side of his head goes up this way. It's so like his sideburn and the side of his hair. And the ears just curve around from the sideburns. And the ear lines, they keep it quite simple. They do sort of the letter J sort of thing that I always say to do. And that's all they do. So nice hairline then. And then the front of it, a few spikes curving around there. And then his hair spikes start. Like he's got some that stick up in the middle here. Messy hair there on the side. Maybe add some texture. Like so. Right, so his body, right? He's a big guy. And he has like what looks like a pipe coming down his neck. Is that right? Okay, so we'll try, right, we'll go. Down this way. And then we'll add this pipe just here. It looks like a pipe to me anyway. And there's like some lines that come across. And it's all shadow in behind it. So it's just like black in here. Then we have some more sort of neck muscles here. Like a big hulking sort of neck. And like his trapezius goes up this way. and I will add some trapezius lines just because it would make more sense for me anyway. and then he has these metal chest plates with straps right so it goes that way and then across the front here and down
down that way. And there's like an extra segments there. And then this strap sort of comes in at a couple of angles down. And there's like another metal plate section here. And then he's got like a big orange shoulder going off that way. Some lines going down this. And with anything metal, it's always good to add sort of edge lines to them. And there's like nuts and bolts and things. And with do he doesn't have a strap on that side, but there is this metal plate, right? Give us that sort of edge and then some bolts. And then his other shoulder is just like a bare muscle shoulder. Like that, basically. So they're all like gray and sort of shiny things. And he's got like guns on his shoulder. Two sort of futuristic weapons, right? So one goes up in. And then this will go that way. Oh, is it? So it's pretty wide. So it's like here. And then it goes back up here. Down. Across. To there. And then this has like edges. And some like clips and details like that on that side anyway the other one looks like the butt of the gun so like the whole like the bit that sits into your shoulder like a, of a rifle so that's like the end of it and then it'll go down there and then it curves around in here then you've got like an edge to that and then some lines that appear to go this way And I think I think that's everything. James Norris, Cyberpunk. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for the request, Emmanuel, over on Patreon. There's actually another little boop there. Anyone else have requests, head over to Patreon. Just a way of messaging me and asking for stuff. So hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.